Welcome to Backyard Games, powered by Husqvarna. I'm Paul Garangelli. And I'm Brian Unger. Let's meet the first two guys who think they're awesome enough to win this thing. Hi, my name is Cole, and I'm here to compete against my best friend, Darren. We've been friends for over 20 years, and today, we're going to see who the best landscaper really is. I'm Darren, and I'm here to compete against my best friend, Cole, and show him who's the best at landscaping. Back home, I've got every tool you can dream of, and so I'm ready for anything they throw at me. Up first is the speed round using high-powered chainsaws, then the finesse round using precision sprayers, and finally the gauntlet, a three-part epic challenge that will be a true test of their backyard supremacy. And on the line is an awesome set of Husqvarna landscaping power equipment, and more importantly, Brian, the coveted golden chainsaw. Oh my goodness, and it is something to behold. And it starts right now with the speed round. Brian, this challenge is he ain't heavy, he's my log. Each competitor has a log of indeterminate weight in one minute to cut it down to 27 pounds. Whoever's closest to 27 wins the challenge. And they're off, Ryan. You can see both guys not wasting any time with these powerful chainsaws. They are the fastest stock chainsaws on the planet. Check that out. Cole making the first cut. He's going to put it on the scale and weigh it. Let's see what it is. 29. Now remember, they have to get close to 27 mm -hmm. pounds. There's Darren. Darren weighing his. Taking a peek. 38 pounds. I'm really impressed by the forearm strength, the way they're grabbing now, those Now both chainsaws. of them are going with these horizontal cuts. Right. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Cole is that? Going He's going with a vertical cut. Paul, oh, Brian. why on earth would anyone use a vertical cut? I have no idea. Maybe it's tactic. He's stopping. Cole has stopped. Darren is strapping it up and he's going to scale now. Darren taking a peek. He looks pretty confident. Brian, I got to tell you, they both look really satisfied here. Let's go to the instant replay. Look at that cut by Darren. That is nice. He's really attacking that lumber. And what's that called? That's the vertical up and down, opposite of horizontal. All right, let's go back to the field for the official weigh-in, starting with Darren. He's coming in at 24. Very nice. Three. Wow. Now it's going to take a miracle for Cole to beat that. All right, let's see. Wow! 27 pounds! Look <laughs> out! The vertical! Oh, the vertical! Darren, you came in here and you really did a great job, but it wasn't good enough. What happened? I just got too aggressive on my cuts. I can't say much more than that. And you get too aggressive on your cuts, there's really no turning back, is there? No. You're Yeah. Good job. All right. But not good enough. Not good enough. Okay. Okay, Brian, Cole's up by 10 points as we head into the second round, the finesse round. Worth 20 points, so the heat is on. We call this challenge Paint by Numbers, where the guys will have to create a work of art using only sprayers. The works are gonna be judged on style, consistency, and like all great works of art, their ability to stay within the lines. Go! And they're off. Now each of the guys has their own board with numbers on it. Those numbers correspond to a specific paint color. You can either go wide spray if you want with a simple adjustment of the knob, or you can go laser beam, stream it in there. How you doing there, buddy? <laughs> this is not pretty. I think he may have failed art class because he is sloppy, he is dripping, he is splattering. All those people, look at Cole, look at that. He is right within the lines. What an artiste. But this is hardly the Sistine Chapel here. And I can't even tell you what is going on in those images. I don't know, Brian, I may have spoke too soon. Uh, Cole looks like he's slipping a little bit. And look at this guy, Darren, he's going on to a new color. Darren is kind of all over the place here, but oh, oh look, Cole dripping messy. and spraying. He's not even inside the line. I'm impressed by Darren's ability to step back and look at the piece of yeah. work as if it's an art piece. Okay, Paul, I'm starting to see something here, and correct mm -hmm. me if I'm wrong, but I'm definitely seeing an image here. It looks like a basket, a basket oh, of, of coyotes. Oh. Darren is continuing to dominate this event while Cole is just, well, he's just making me feel uncomfortable. Wow, looks like Darren has really started to find his rhythm. Up, oh, and there's our official with the whistle. I'm Wow, so Darren Darren really has done an amazing job here. Yeah. All right, Brian, let's go to our ref. He's getting ready to make the call. <laughs> and it is no surprise there. <laughs> Cole, you lost this. What happened here? You started out kind of strong. I was having pressure issues, but you know, hey, that's no excuse. We tried to do the best we can, but unfortunately, that big old beast over there got me today. Yeah, a lot of guys have pressure issues. So it looks like Darren has fought back to take a 10-point lead over Cole. This means the only chance Cole has of taking home the golden chainsaw is if he can beat Darren by 10 seconds or more as we enter the final challenge, which is the gauntlet. Our final three-part epic battle. 
In the first stage, the guys must cut through four 2x4s using pole saws. In the second stage, they'll have to use power washers to clean two filthy cars to uncover a three-digit code. That code will give them keys to start zero-turn lawnmowers for the third and final stage, where they'll have to navigate through a gnome-filled slalom. Competitors, ready? And here we go, Brian, the first leg of the gauntlet. There, the referee has just given them the signal and they're off they're out of the gate. Here, All right, we have some four by fours that are 14 feet above the ground. They have to cut it right down the middle where that red is. And as these logs are falling away, the flags drop and there's a white substance in these balloons. What is that, Paul? Yeah, that's right, Brian. It's flour, just meant to be a distraction, but it really doesn't seem to be working. And they're moving through this both at the same pace as they go through. I am not surprised at all. These are beefy guys that got strong deltoids. Go in there and finish at the same time. Oh and my they're God. Gone. And they're running back now to the second part of the gauntlet, which is. Dude, where's my automobile? As you can see, Cole has a slight lead. Darren falls close behind. Oh, oh spray zone. With, what a sucker move with that power washer. Here's what they have to do they have to find a three digit code on these dirty cars and then use the code to unlock these boxes. Now that will turn on the zero turn mower. Okay, it looks to me like Darren has found the nugget. Yeah, he he's heading. Go he's right in the lock box. Oh, wow. And now all he has to do is just unlock the box with that code. There oh, he is. There's they're Cole. Both, they're both trying to get these. Now they're struggling with these combinations. Oh, oh, and Darren, Darren has got the key. And Cole's finally got his open. They're both now making it over yep. to Gnome turning back. That's right, Brian. This is the most difficult part of the gauntlet. The guys have to weave in and out of these gnomes without hitting them. If they do, it's going to cost them five seconds. These zero turn mowers get up to 6.5 miles per hour. Cole seems to be struggling a little. Look at Darren make the moves. He's like a figure skater. Oh, and he knocks a gnome over. Darren, in the meantime, just making it happen, going in and out. Look at the lead. You can see him establishing it there. Frustration on Cole's face. Darren just continuing to weave in and out. Oh, he's just going for broke. I love it. The message board for gnomes will be lighting up tonight. The gnome rights activist furious on shore. Darren is a winner. Darren is just putting the zero turn in that zero turn. Real frustration showing up on Cole. Cole just mowing them over at the end. Darren, I know you're from the Show Me State. I think you showed us all a little something, something here today. Congratulations. Not only have you won the Husqvarna Landscaping Power Equipment, but more importantly, the coveted Golden Chainsaw. Nicely yeah. done. Nice work. So if you're one of those people who looks at the still life and says, oh yeah, bring on the horsepower, we want you on this show. Just go to Husqvarna.com and be a part of Backyard Games. I'm Paul Garangelli. And I'm Brian Unger. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.